Hi friends, in this video, we will learn how to find out the percentage of any number without using calculator. In the starting, we will try to find out simple little percentages like 10%, 50%, 5%, 1%. But once you understand the method, then you'll be able to find out complex percentages like 22% of 80 or even like let's say 39% of 960 or even 73% of 484 in just less than five seconds, guys. So let's get started, guys. Let us say I got three numbers, 800, 520, and 348. At first, we will try to learn our basic skills, like how we can find out 10%, 1%, 50%, and 5% of any number because these percentages we are going to use a lot and find out any more challenging percentages, guys. So let us say if I want to get the 10%, simply what I can do is if there's a zero at the end, I can take my one zero off. So that is going to be 80 or I have got 520, so I got a zero at the end, so I can take one zero off, that will be 52. So basically nothing else, but what we are doing is, our decimal point is at the end, so it's just moving one step back. So that what is the process when we are finding out 10%. Here in the last number, I don't have any zero at the end. So what we, like, what we will do is, my decimal point is at the end. I will move my decimal point, you know, like one to the left. So that is going to be 34.8. So 34.8 is the 10%. If I wanna get the 1%, nothing else, but I can do the repeat the same process again. So if it is an original number, and if I wanna get my 1%, then my decimal point goes, you know, like two steps to the left. So it goes like one and two steps to the left. So I'll be left with just eight. If it is a 520, then we can say my decimal point is here. It will go one step back and two step back, which is going to be just 5.2. If it is 348, my decimal point will move one and two step back, which is going to be 3.48. If you already have a 10%, guys, as you can see, you can just move it one step back and you get your 1%. So now, 10% and 1%, quite easy to find out. So don't use your calculator, guys, for 10% and 1% ever. 10%, one decimal points back, 1%, two decimal points back on the left, and that's your answer. Now, let us say if I want to get 50% of any number. 50% of the number is nothing else but half of the number. So let us say the number is 800. What is half of 800? That's 400, isn't it? So 400 is my 50%. If I want to get 50% of 520, what am I going to do is I'm not going to bother about the zero at the end, guys. I'll just forget that. I'll just think about 52 only. So 52 half is 26. So I can put down 26, and then there's a zero at the end, which I can just add up, guys. Simple, yeah? Now, let us say 348, and if I wanna make it half, guys, there's a bit of a process, because we can think about, in a so many different ways, let us say, here, like if it is a 350, if it is 350, if I wanna make it half, that's 175, here, two less, so one less, so it's going to be 174. But you can use like many different ways to do that. Let us say if you're not comfortable in that, you can split that into like 300 and 48. And half of 300 is 150. Half of 48 is going to be 24. If you add that, 150 plus 24 is also giving you 174, guys. Yeah, more creative you become, more faster you can do it, more enjoy you can add it, guys. So now I got my 500, sorry, 50%. So I'm going to get my 5% now. So to get your 5%, you can just focus on your 10%. Let us say if you have got a 10%, you can make it half. 
which is going to be your 5%. So my 10% is 80. So 5% is going to be half of that, which is 40. My 10% here is 52. So half of that is my 5%, which is 26. My 10% is 34.8. So half of that is going to be 17.4. In this case, you also had 50%. When you have 50% and you want to get the 5%, you can also do take one decimal points back. So my decimal point is right here. If you take one step back, that's your 5%, which is 40. That's what you can see here. My decimal point is here, one step back, that's my 26. My decimal point is right here, one step back, that's my 17.4. So now we have learned how to find out 10%, 1%, 50%, and 5% of any number, guys. So based on that, we'll be doing some beautiful questions, guys. Let us say, if I wanna get the 60% of 42, at first, I gotta just think about 60%, what you can, what can I do to get my 60%? So that consists of 50% and 10%. So I can get my 10, 50%, I can get my 10%, and then I can plus 10. What is 50% of 42? 50% is like half. So 42 is going to be 21. 21 is the half of 42. And 10%, we have learned it like you are just taking a one decimal points back, which is 4.2. So you can put down that is going to be 4.2. Now, when you plus them, so easy, you can see like 25.2, guys. Yeah? After practicing, guys, you will realize you can do that way, very quickly. Some of the questions like this, you can do in two or three seconds, young guys. Let us say this time, I'm going to get my 95% of 720. So the very first step, what am I going to do is, I will think how to get 95%. So I can get my 100%, which is the number itself and then I can get my 5%, and then I can minus it. 100% minus 5% is 95%. My 100% is 720. And now I'll get my 5%, but before I get my 5%, I'll think like what is 10%. So 10% is, there's a one zero, I can take one zero off, or my decimal point is moving one to the left. So my 10% is 72. My 10% is 72. I can make it half, which will be my 5%. So that is going to be 36. Now you can minus that, guys. You can see like 720. If you have got a 20, then it is going to be 700. But 16 more, you go to minus, which will give you 684. So 95% of 720, guys. Quickly, you can find out that is 684. Now, guys, I've got a three questions for you. So you can... Pause the video, take pen and paper, guys, and try that out. So you can pause the video, try by yourself how you're getting answers, and then I'll be doing that, and you can check your answers, guys. Yeah? So let us say if I want to get my 55% of 360, I'll think about how can I get my 55%. So I'll get my 50%, I'll get my 5%, and then I'll plus them. To get the 50% is making half. So let us say 360. I'm not going to worry about 360. I'll just think about 36 only. So half of 36 is 18. And there's a zero at the end, which I'll put it down, guys. So 180 is the 50% of 360. And now I want to get the 5%. Because I have 50%, I can just move my decimal point to the left and that is going to be 18, and which is my 5%, guys. And if I plus them, what I'm going to get is 198. Yeah? It's good, isn't it? So let us say, if you get your 25%, you have got two ways, guys, basically. You know, like, you might be knowing, like, 25% is, like, one quarter of a number. Like, 50% is half. 25% is half of the half, which is one quarter. So basically, that's nothing else, but let us say one quarter of 860. Now, you think about 800. If it is 800, one quarter of 800 is 200. And one quarter of 60 is 15. So you can get your answer directly, guys, 215. How quick, isn't it? But let us say if you're not comfortable with one quarter method, I'm going to show you other way as well. So 25%. 
you can make it like let's say 50 percent first so 50 percent is half of this number which is going to be 430 and 25 percent is again half of the 50 percent and that is going to be 215 you get the same answer isn't it but let us say if you're still not comfortable i'm showing you the third way guys more creative more fun guys so 25 percent you can get 10 percent and then 10% and 5%. So you can do 10% plus 10% plus 5%. Now 10% of 860, you can take just one zero off. So that is 86 plus 86, and half of the 10% is your 5%, which is going to be 43. Now, if you add them up, then also you get 215 guys, yeah? But I, I love this method, basically, like you just make it half, which is 430, make it half again, 215. That's the fastest according to me, guys. Now, this question, guys, is going to be a little bit good, as you can see, 85% of 620. So what we need to do is we go to get our 100%, and then we go to minus 15% to get our 85%, 100%. Minus 15%. So let's get our 100% separately, 15% separately, and then we will put it down. So 100%, we don't need to do anything, guys. Yeah, that's a basic number, which is 620. To get the 15%, what we can do is we can get our 10% and we can get our 5% and we can plus them. So my 10% of 620, I can just take my zero off. So that will be 62 and 5% is going to be half of that, which is 31. If I add them, it is going to be 93. So basically my 100%, which is 620 minus 93. And that if I want to do it, guys, I'm not going to do like 620 minus 93. I'll do like 620 minus 100, which is 520. But I subtracted seven extra, which I'm going to add it. So which will be 527. So what you can do is, you can minus 100, guys. So that is 520 quickly. And then you can plus 7. So that is 527. Yeah. Now, at the end, guys, we'll do real good questions, guys. Challenging. Yeah, that's what you have seen in the starting. 39% of 960 and 73% of 484. Now, they are not like a simple little question. Yeah. But now I think you guys are ready to do that. So let us say 39%, if you really want to get it, what is the way to get it? There are a lot of different ways. But let us say, I can, I can get it like, let's say 50% minus 11%. That's one of the ways, isn't it? So you can get the 50%, we can get the 11%, we can minus them. What is the 50%? So 50% is the half of that. So 96, I'm going to focus, 96. And if I will do the half, it's going to be 48. Then there is a zero at the end. So 480 is my 50%. Now get that 11%, I'll get my 10%, I'll get my 1%, and I'll plus them. So my 10% is 96. My 1% is 9.6, isn't it? People, two steps going back in decimals. And if I add them up, this is going to be 6, and 9 plus 6 is 15, 1 here, 105.6. So my 11% is 105.6. So now I can do 50% minus 11%, which is 480. And this is going to be 105.6. And now you can do it quickly, guys. Let's say 10 minus 6 is 4. And then this is 9 minus, because we have taken the carry. So that's going to be 9 here. 9 minus 5 is 4. And that will leave 7 here. And that is going to be 374.4. Yeah, it looks a little bit of a things, guys. But when we will do it, you'll be able to do it without like spending much time. That's not that hard, guys. Yeah. Let us say if you want to get like 73% of 484. If you can do like 39% and 73%, actually, you can get any percentage, this guys. Yeah. So 73%, what will be our game plan, guys? We can do one thing like we can do, let us say, 50% plus 10% plus 10% plus 1% plus 1% 
plus one person. This is one way, guys. Yeah, it looks like, oh my God, what is going on? But it, it's not going to be hard. Like, let's say 50 person is what? Half of that, which will be just two, 42. Is it good, guys? Now 10 percent. Yeah, so 10 percent is like one decimal point back, which will be 48.4. And then another 10 percent, 48.4. And then one person, guys, so which is going to be two steps back, yeah, one and two. So that will be 4.84, 4 4.84, and 4.84. I'm going to just add it, which is not going to be a big deal, guys. 444, which is 12, one carry, and then 888, which is 24, 24 plus 4, 28, 32, and 33, and then three on the top. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 8, 13. Other than that, guys, I've got a good idea as well. So let us do like 8 and 2, which is 10. 10 plus 3, which is 13. 13 plus 8, which is 21. 25, 25 and 8 will give us 33. And then 3 here. And then 12 plus 3, which is going to be 15. And that's 353.32. So you can see like guys are oh, like, oh my God, <laughs> uh, two decimal numbers. You figure that out without using calculator. It's just a little bit of a practice, guys. If you do a little bit of practice, you can do the things without because adding up and things with the decimal is not going to take your time. Yeah, you know like how to get your 73% and then it's not going to be hard. Like there can be other way as well. You might have to do like a oh, 50% and plus 25% and then minus 1% and minus 1%. There's another way as well. So more creative you can be and the more faster you can do your calculation as well. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the technique, guys. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel to enjoy more tricks like this. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.